How's it going? Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Well, you're probably watching this any day of the week. For us right now, it is the weekend. This is Rob with Shipper Wedding. So what's happening right now? We're doing some draping. I thought I'd start the video right now to kind of give you an idea of how you can do it yourself with pipe and drape to cover walls, do backdrops. You want to cover your entire room? It's great for that too. And we're about to get in that room. So hold tight because we drape that whole room. I want to show you what that looks like. Super simple. The pipe and drape wall kit we have ships with everything you need. It sets up super fast. If you're doing a lot of draping, you will need multiple people to go ahead and transform your space with the fabric. It's gonna be the base plates that you see down here. And then you take your upright, you put this into your base plate. Then a crossbar, it goes across, just like that, it's going from left to right. Next step will be to take and throw four pieces of fabric over it. You want even amounts on both sides. Once you do that, you pleat it, you raise it, you pull it back if it's a doorway. Speaking of doors, let's walk through this one and see what it looks like in the room. So we have the pipe and drape going around the entire space, just like you see. Look how nice that looks. Oh. So if you need help draping your venue, we would love to take care of you. We're nationwide. We can make your space look like this. Also, if you have done so yet, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. A couple things. This video is not going to break down the actual steps, but in the top corner of this video, if you want another DIY resource for how to go ahead and do pipe and drape an entire room, go ahead and click on that video. If you like more information about how you can rent this for your event, go ahead and click in the video description below. We will have a link that will take you right to our website. Let's talk about the space. So a couple things. You'll notice that we have it pulled back. This is going to be for like serving stations. I think that's for drinks. Doorway drape, that's for the restrooms. We got a little funky over here. Let's talk about this. So the draping is going around the stage. This is going to be where the entertainment's going to happen at. We need to pull back this way. They can see what's happening in the audience, but they could also set up. We have some other doorways pulled back. It's very important. Whenever you're doing an event and you have draping, you want to make sure it's pulled back and you can see the fire exit signs. The reason why is you need to do that for code. Keep that in mind when you're setting up your draping package. Now you'll notice over here, we skip this little portion of draping. So what's the reasoning behind this why do we skip that wall right there so there's a speaker this is a little bit higher than this it would have been this weird angle to where this would have all been kind of lowered so we just took that out another reason we took this out too is because this is the main doorway that the catering staff will be going throughout the event we want to make sure they have enough room to make it through it really bright in this room you can already see the purple up lighting coming through for this space we use 30 lights 30 is common for when you're draping your entire room let's walk to the lights and let's talk a little bit about these so if you want to add some color to your up lights, super simple. We have two options. They can either ship to you fully charged or you can plug them in. That's the power switch to turn it on. And all you have to do is just change the CL. As I change it, the color is changing. Since we're going with lavender, we're going to keep it on the 20. I'm going to hit enter just like this. Because these are battery powered, we have them all set up. We turn them on this way you can evenly space out the lights like you see here in the room. Our next step is going to be to turn off the power to the lights. This way we can conserve the battery on them. Check us out once again, Rob with Ship Our Wedding. We'd love to help you with your DIY event. Make sure you watch this video at the end. We're going to have some suggested videos for you to watch. Thank you so much. Take care. Watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.